Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about how to remember formation of brachial plexus easily. So to remember brachial plexus formation, you need to remember a mnemonic and the mnemonic is really tired drink coffee buddy so how it works first comes r r stands for roots so the roots are c5 c6 C7, C8, and T1. These are ventral primary rami contributing in formation of brachial plexus. Now these roots will unite to form trunks. So how they are formed? So simply you need to make forks like this. For C7, you'll have to draw a single line like this. So these two forks will join to form upper trunk. These two forks will join to form lower trunk. And this C7 continues as middle trunk. So now we have got upper, middle and lower trunks. Now these trunks will divide and they form divisions. So each trunk will divide into anterior and posterior divisions okay now these divisions will unite to form chords now chords are named according to their position with the second part of axillary artery now there are three chords medial lateral and posterior first is the lateral cord and now that is formed by fusion of anterior division of upper trunk and middle trunk like this so this is lateral cord which is lateral to second part of axillary artery now posterior divisions of upper middle and lower trunk they will join to form posterior cord which lies posterior to second part of axillary artery and anterior division of lower trunk will continue as medial cord it will remain medial to second part of axillary artery now this cords literal posterior and medial will give branches now how to remember branches so again there are three mnemonics for branches of lateral cord you need to remember l m l for branches of posterior cord you need to remember another mnemonic that is ulnar u l n a r and for branches of medial cord, you need to remember another mnemonic that is 4M and a U. So here this L stands for lateral pectoral now, this M stands for musculocutaneous now, and this L stands for lateral root of median now. So these are three branches of lateral cord of brachial plexus. Regarding branches of posterior cord of brachial plexus, this ulnar mnemonic works. So this U stands for upper subscapular now, L stands for lower subscapular now, this is now to latissimus dorsi, axillary now, and continuation of posterior cord is radial now, which is thickest branch. Now comes branches of medial cord. So here we have got 4M and U. So M stands for medial pectoral now, another M stands for medial cutaneous nerve of arm, this M stands for medial cutaneous nerve of forearm, and this last M stands for medial root of median now. So this medial root of median now of medial cord 
on this lateral root of median now of lateral chord they unite to form median now and this u stands for ulnar now so these many branches are given from the chords of brachial plexus additionally there are few branches to remember now this is upper trunk and here it gives two branches for that you need to remember another mnemonic s and s this s stands for suprascapular now and this another s stands for now to subclavius additionally this c5 this c6 and c7 collectively give a branch and that is termed as long thoracic now or now to serratus anterior Additionally, only C5 will give a branch that is termed as dorsal scapular now. So these are the branches given by chords, trunk and root directly. So this is how you can remember formation of brachial plexus. Hope you have understood well. Thanks for watching.